morning, saints. We want to thank God for, for this day. It's a different day altogether. And this is how we're going to do or we're going to carry our service today. It's a bit different from the norm. And this is how we're going to go about it. One item per group. And in between, we'll be continuing with our lessons on music. So right now, I want uh, Jacinth to prepare to come up here, followed by Streams of Mercy, followed by New Dawn. Then after that, we have a lesson on music. So yesterday, we started talking about uh, um, the, the benefits of music. Generally, that music is beneficial to an individual, to your body, to your mind. And today, during Sabbath school, we were also warned of the dangers of listening or singing music which is ungodly. And we will continue now looking at the Bible and see how the Bible guides and directs us on the kind of music and the way we are supposed to present the music as a congregation and as singing groups. So after Jason, Streams of Mercy, then we have New Dawn. Then we're going to continue with our lesson. May we be blessed. As you travel along, as you
Savior to Bethlehem came, born in a manger to sorrow and shame. Oh, it was wonderful, blessed be his name, seeking for me, for me. The great dead and my soul is set free. Oh, it was wonderful, how could it be? Dying for me, for me. shall come from on high. Sweet is the promise as weary as fly. Oh, I shall see him descending the sky, coming for me, for me. Jesus and his disciples as well. And we're just following uh, the footsteps of Jesus and his disciples. This we get in Matthew chapter 26, verse 30. The Apostle Paul instructed the Colossians to teach and admonish one another in all wisdom and with gratitude in their hearts to sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. This we also find in Colossians chapter 3, verses 16 to 17. The church must sing. Ave
highest form of human expression. I could tell, I could hear from this side that now the guys are ready to express their love to God through singing. The church which does not sing is a troubled community. The praise of God which finds its concrete culmination in the singing of the community is one of the indispensable forms of the ministry of the church. Singing is a ministry that belongs to all people of God. We are going to pause for a moment and have the following groups coming up front to give praise to the Lord. Praise Symphony, then we have the Adventurer Choir, followed by the Pathfinder Choir. I'm going to sing, there'll be no more night. I'm going to sing, where Jesus is alive.
Congregation is always the primary choir. The role of professional or organized groups or choirs and musicians is to aid the whole church in singing. It's always the opposite. People always want to listen to the groups, listen to the groups. Yet the primary choir is this congregation. This is the church. A diet of worship which does not regularly include ample opportunity for all members of the congregation to join in song will be impoverished worship and the life of the church and the faith of its people will suffer. Different voices, different instruments, different parts are blended to offer a single living and unified work of beauty. The human tongue was especially created to proclaim the praise of God, both through singing and speaking, so that we may not be a church that is dead. I'm going to call upon the praise team as we offer our praise to God through singing. Hymn 202, Jesus Savior, pilot me. We'll sing uh, English, Shona then Debele. Jesus save your pilot me
the power of music. We need to put music in its proper usage. This is very important because music, when not abused, is a great blessing. But when you put to a wrong use, it is a terrible curse. We find this from Testimonies for the Church, Volume 1, pages 496 to 497. Sing with the spirit and with understanding. When you are singing, be in the music and understand what you are singing about. The evil of formal worship cannot be too strongly depicted, but no words can properly set forth the deep blessedness of genuine worship. When human beings sing with the spirit and understanding, heavenly musicians take up the strain and join the song of thanksgiving. Amen. This we find testimonies um, to the churches, volume 9, pages 143 to 144. Gather together singers who will sing with the spirit and with the understanding. Sing with simplicity. True ministers know the value of the inward working of the Holy Spirit upon human hearts. Sing skillfully. Let singing be accompanied with musical instruments skillfully handled. This we get from Gospel Workers, page 357 to 358. Sing uh, with cheerful solemnity. Let singing be solemn and cheerful. All the service should be conducted with solemnity and awe, as if it is the, there is the visible presence of the master of assemblies. Testimonies, volume 5, pages 493. Sing with a sanctified heart. Music is acceptable to God only when the heart is sanctified and made soft and holy by its facilitators. Evangelism, page 512. Sing with self-denying, not self-displaying motive. Display is neither religion nor sanctification. There is nothing more offensive in God's sight than a display of instrumental music when those taking part are not consecrated and are not making melody in their hearts to the Lord. The offering, post, the offering most sweet and acceptable in God's sight is a heart made humble by self-denial, by lifting the cross and following Jesus. Evangelism, page 510. May God bless us as we listen to uh, divine inspiration, giving our last uh, rendition for the day. Let's meet ev during the evening as we conclude our music program. All the best. <laughs> 